Right, now have I got your attention? Because it appears my last video didn't get your attention. <laughs> right, if you haven't seen it yet, head on over and watch the medieval video. There's jousting, there's a market there, there's loads of great stuff to view, so get on over there and watch it. Right, now getting back to this video, what we're gonna do, we're gonna cook one of those fabulous dishes that is on the new website. Beef cheek, insider, loads of vegetables. I'm just gonna gather a few extra bits. So just going into the greenhouse now, get some parsley. Now we've had, I've lost count of how many kilos of beautiful tomatoes we've had this year. It's been a real success, the greenhouse. And by the way, there's a blog on the greenhouse on the website. So if you haven't visited the website yet, head over there because there's some great blogs. One about the greenhouse and how many kilos of tomatoes I've had this year. It's been unbelievable, really. Still going. I mean, they've even grown out the top of the roof. I'll show you around the side. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we've done all right with tomatoes. Most years they've failed. I've planted them outside. They've got blight. Never done no good, but it's been worth building this just so I can have beautiful tomatoes and cucumbers. Right. Now, where's my parsley gone? Ah, there it is. There's a bit of parsley there. Oh, yes, yeah, nice. Is it coriander? It's coriander. Mm, it's coriander. Coriander's good as well. I love coriander, so that's coming with me. So Sam normally comes out and gets the herbs. Blowing me cover there, aren't I? Right. Um, parsley. Where did she put the parsley? So yeah, we didn't have no parsley, but cooking's all about improvising and using what's at hand. We've got coriander, which is one of my favorite herbs, so that's not too bad. Right, let's head on over to the kitchen and I'll show you what I'm about to prepare. Hello everybody, today you join me in Sean's kitchen. Right, before we get started, pop that down there. Let me talk you through the dish we're gonna do. It's called beef a la Normande. Yeah, just about got that right. And what we've done, we've marinated just over a kilo of beef cheek in cider. So we'll cut back to yesterday, what I've done. Prepared the uh, beef cheek, it's just over a kilo, trimmed it, diced it up into bite-sized uh, pieces. This beef was from Dom Front, where the medieval festival was filmed. I think we're gonna call this dish tongue-in-cheek. <laughs> Bokeh garnish, just uh, thyme and bay and rosemary. Local cider just from around the corner, so try and keep it all local. We let this settle overnight in the refrigerator uh, for about 12 hours just to soften up. Uh, so what we're going to do now, we're going to take it out, fry it off in batches over to the cooker. Now if you're all screaming out, why aren't you using your copper? Well, this was my nan's and my great nan's and I uh, always love using this whenever I get the opportunity. So what we're going to do, we're going to Drain off the beef, we're going to get some butter going in here, half of the butter, I think, for this first stage, yeah, half of the butter, so about 75, 70 grams thereabouts. Fry off the beef in batches, put it to one side, and then we'll start on the onions. Right, back over to the table. So what we're doing now, we just literally take this lovely beef out, and drain off there, mm, lovely apple smell. Of course, we're surrounded by orchards. A lot of the apples has probably come from this area that's gone into the cider. So if you're wondering how much this cost, from the local butcher, this was 15 euros for around about a kilo. Then you've got the other vegetables, so obviously depending on where you buy them from, um, I'd say 25 euros, probably about 20 pounds sterling, similar to dollars. But it looks like it's gonna feed quite a few or two or three greedy people. <laughs> right, so that's to one side. Keep this to one side now, the liquor. We're gonna use that shortly. I'm gonna put some butter in the pot. So we're gonna get fired up now. Putting a bit of butter in the pot. Just warm that through. So, the butter's up to temperature. If you put too much in at once, It'll just sort of steam and stew. We don't want that. This is about getting some colour and some flavour into the dish. There we go. Season each batch. Salt. Pepper. So you're probably looking at a medium to high heat just to 
quickly brown it, but not to burn the butter. So we're nearly there with this one. So that's the first batch done. We'll get that onto the plate. So butter in for the second batch. So that's the second batch of the beef done. We're going to remove it from the pan onto the plate and then we'll move over and start doing some prep on the veg. So next we start prepping the onions and just simply straight down the middle. Make sure you've got a nice sharp knife. A blunt knife is more dangerous than a sharp one. Remember to keep your fingers back like that and just run the edge of the blade across your knuckles. I've made no provisions for fingertips in the recipe so <laughs> right that's one two to go. So next on the ingredients list is two large or three medium carrots sliced or rondelled if we uh, want to be technical about it so we'll just get these prepped up. So if you want to try this recipe at home don't forget there's a step-by-step -step recipe on the website Welcome to Seansworld.com. We are in Normandy after all. Never scrimp on the butter. Makes it nice and glossy. Bring it up to temperature, medium heat. Another tip while I remember, if you add a splash of oil to the butter, that will stop the butter from burning. We'll give those approximately three minutes to Start wilting down, coated in all the juices that are left in the pan from the meat. Ah, before I forget the garlic. Three cloves of garlic. Always useful to give them a bit of a bash, it makes the peeling easier. Take the tops and towels off. And then just crank it down. This will virtually all cook away anyway. Simple cooking, loads of flavour, not many ingredients. Superb. So next we're going to make the stock. It's one beef stock cube, organic preferably. While this stock cube is dissolving, we can now add the beef to the dish. all its juices as well. Good cover in there, tomato puree. Dissolve nicely. Now we pour over. And just mix the tomato puree in. Next comes the cider that we use to marinate the beef. Okay, Garnet, in you go. At this stage, you can just turn up the heat a little bit because we've got a cold liquid going in. Give it another stir, I think. Maybe a season, salt and pepper. So we pop the lid on. Keep checking it. That's going to take between two and a half and three hours. So while the casserole is simmering, I'm going to prepare a gratin dolphin noir. So a gratin dolphin noir is simply thinly sliced potatoes, layered with cream in the middle, another layer of potatoes and seasoning, and cheese on top. Mustn't forget the cheese on top. So it's time for the uh, gratin to go into the oven now. So carefully put that in, preheat the oven quite high. See you in 50 minutes. So I've just increased the heat just to reduce the liquid down a little bit. We're coming to the end now. Let's just check on the gratin. Maybe you can see that. You'll see it rightly enough in a minute, but I would say that is ready. So oven's off for that. Just reduce this down a little bit more just to thicken the sauce up. 
Smells so nice. Right, another five minutes and we'll be good to go. While I'm waiting, let's sort the cutlery out. Right, that bowl should suffice for me. I don't know what you're having, Tom. <laughs> Only joking. That's for me starters. <laughs> Looks really nice, quite surprised actually. Still nice and firm, but cooked just right. So now for the good bit, let's try and taste it. I've done this dish before, don't know what to expect. But if you use good ingredients, you're halfway there. Mm. Wow, that meat is so soft and tender. Considering when we started, it was a fairly tough cut. But it's been lovely, lovely and softened in the, in the sauce. Let's try the dolphin one. They smell delicious. Normally if something smells good. It's delicious with that cheddar. <laughs> really nice. That's very nice. Let's try a bit of both. Mm. Delicious. Why don't you give this dish a try? What we did notice with the sauce, we obviously used cider, as it was cooking, it smelled like there was a ginger effect in there, didn't there? You know, it really had a, a strong aroma, but that's, the ginger taste is kind of, doesn't exist in, in the dish. So yeah, it's really, really worked. It's lovely. Lovely pairing with the creme fraiche and the dolphin wine. Mm. Delicious. Right, you must excuse me while I finish this off. That beef was so beautifully tender. That is the softest beef I've had for as long as I can remember. Absolutely delicious. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. It helps me out immensely. Cheers. <laughs>